Thank you for joining in and for today's video we're going to do something a little bit different. It is watercolor but I'm going to show you how to create some abstract ideas here. So this is going to be an abstract painting and I do have some swatches there on the side. And that was a little close up of the Art Philosophy Tropicals set. So if you have anything with um, some rainbow colors some blues, yellow, orange, pink, purple, and a nice little mix there. And I have a few circles drawn out and these are super easy. You can use a compass if you have one or um, which is a drawing device or you can just use like an old cup or something similar like that, a candle, so anything there. And I have two different sizes. Two are big and then one's a little bit smaller. And then before I actually get started, I'm going to erase the lines a little bit to lighten them up. And for brushes, I'm just using um, one here. It's the size 8 Silver Black Velvet from Jackson's Art. And first up, I'm going to start off with um, two different shades of blue for the two larger circles. And the goal here is to create a lot of um, like fluid movement here and texture because it's an abstract painting. So I don't want, um, for me personally, I'm not focused on like blending and make sure everything is like super precise because that's not the type of painting that this is. And after the first layer dries up a little bit, I'm going to go in with some more paint and do a second layer, but I'm only going to put it on certain areas so that way there's more contrast. And for the lower circle, I'm using some indigo mixed with a little bit of a darker blue. You're going to do the same thing like you did with the first circle. So you're just repeating the process. And for the smaller circle up in the corner, I'm mixing, um, I guess you'd say like a little bit of purple and magenta together, and then I'm going to drop in bits of the deeper blue as well. Right in between the two big circles where like they intersect, I'm going to use some of like a seafoam green color. So 
also if you have a nice like pastel green color um something similar if not you can just you can pick something similar i would recommend either just a different shade of blue or green but you could put a tiny bit of white in there and then so everything has balance i'm going to put a tiny bit of that same color up into the lighter blue And here I'm going to go in with a little bit of that magenta color. Again, we want to make sure that everything is balanced color-wise. And for the background, I was trying to think of different, uh, <laughs> different ideas here. And I decided to go with the drip effect because it's just, it's really easy to do. And I did a little color play here with um, compliments. So we have like that purplish color with the yellow. And then later on in the painting, I will show you how to do the, like the orange against the blue. And it ended up um, looking really nice. So there's a lot to learn from this painting here with your your compliments and your colors and like spatial awareness and making sure everything is balanced. So there's actually a lot that goes into abstract paintings that most people don't even know about. And here I'm just adding extra water so that it can drip down and then um, it's a tiny bit messy but that's okay. It's easy to wipe up and I'm gonna let that dry up and then work on the orange on the other side. For the top section, I'm going to go in with some of the lighter blue and then the opposite corner, I'm going to be using the magenta. And then in the middle piece, I'm just going to blend the two with some extra water so that it's just not as deep.
For the last step in the painting here, I'm going to use my deeper blue and we're going to do the tap splashes. So make sure you're using um, a good amount of water so that you have a, a nice little splatter effect there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.